your girl Kim welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm just gonna be giving you guys a small update as you guys recall I posted a short video on uh, YouTube as well as on Instagram just letting you guys know that I suffered a loss in my family um, I couldn't really still can't really come to terms with it um, I am in a state of disbelief but I'm trying to pick myself up um, I've been told this is my new reality so I have no choice but to, to try to move on it is extremely hard um, some days I just find myself just gazing off into a distance with a blank stare um, nothing on my mind it's it's very tough um, so I figured I would just come back to you guys and just film maybe it would help to clear my head um, I did do a couple things wig wise just to take my mind off of things I kind of realized that <sighs> playing with hair, playing with makeup, just kind of freeze my mind. So we'll just get right into it. So the wig that I'm wearing is a wig that I picked up from Freedom Couture. Uh, a little while ago, I actually filmed how I got part of this color. Now this particular wig, I picked it up when it was on her, like her sale, like she, I got it for like $500 around that price. I'm gonna leave the price up here or here, um, as well as an original picture. Uh, and in the first stage of this color now when I say the first stage of this color initially when I colored the hair um, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different on one of the wig Companies websites. I saw they had a two-tone color. So I was like, oh, you know Let me see how freedom couture's hair holds up when you try to process it because I did have one of my followers Reach out to me about dyeing their hair and I'm like, well, you know If you're gonna buy the hair and it's this much money just might as well get the color that you want um, however, I bought this wig, like I said, it was around $500, and I just decided, like, I wanted to experiment, see how good the hair was. I kind of wish I didn't experiment as much as I did, because I kind of fried the hair. Um, we'll get into that. Unfortunately, I don't have that on video, because it was while I was, you know, trying my best to cope with my loss, and, um, the hair... And playing with hair just kind of kept my mind off of it. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have how I achieved the back color. But I am going to tell you guys exactly what I did. The top part of the color, I do have that on video. I am going to be uploading a video on my channel just so that you guys can see that process. However, I'm not sure if you guys have heard where there are... It's like a little bit of a craze um, where vloggers are just lifting hair using developers. So, I was like, you know what? Might as well try it. So, I actually lifted the back part of this hair hair with only developer no bleach no toner um I'm like I kind of wish I would have discovered this a little bit earlier however the way I did it um I wish I didn't do that method because like, again I fried the hair I was actually forced to cut it which I didn't mind because initially when I unboxed the wig um I felt as though it was a little I don't want to say bottom heavy but it just didn't flow right it didn't feel as though the density was the same all throughout um you guys will see when i init when i eventually upload that video that there are a decent amount of flyaways so you can kind of see like how it falls like it looks a little heavy even after it's been cut that's kind of how it it was falling like I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see in the video, like, it falls kind of weird. It's, al it's almost as though it should have been a little bit fuller, or if it had to be at that density, it should have been at the length that it's at currently. So, cutting it is not something that I minded too much, um, but in this case, I was actually forced to cut it, because when I was done with this process, I couldn't even run the comb through the hair. Um, so I ended up taking off a lot more than I wanted to, but as coincidence would happen, this is actually a look that I saw on another YouTuber, um, and I loved it so much, I was really trying to achieve this exact cut and this exact look, so I guess in hindsight, you kind of get what you want, even though sometimes you feel like you don't want it anymore. So what I ended up doing to achieve the color in the back is I put 40 volume developer on the hair. Um, some recommended that you put it out in the sun just so that that little bit of heat could get to the hair to lift it faster. Um, and then they also recommend that you do it over a 24 hour period. Uh, I didn't have that time or that patience. I wanted uh, instant gratification and I paid a little bit for that because this hair shed so bad and it smells burnt um but yeah so i decided i was gonna put the 40 volume developer on the hair and i put it in a bag and i put it in a heat cap now this heat cap is like over 20 years old it was my mom's um 
So probably not the best idea. I'm in my bathroom while it's sitting in this bag and I figured, okay, I'll leave it in there for a few hours. I am so happy I did not leave my bathroom. I literally smell something burning and then when I looked at the hair, it was this color in the back. It's a very pretty color. I love it. Um, I just wish I didn't damage the hair in the process to get it, but going forward i think if i'm trying to achieve blonde hair i'm probably like ashy blonde hair because it gave like an ash tone i'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera the top is golden but the back is like an ash brown color with like low lights um it's really really pretty but i just wish i would have um not left it on so long or not left it in the heat like lesson learned so with that said that's pretty much just wrapping up this video how I oh sorry I almost forgot. So I also, while I was on my little hiatus, I picked up some Rit dye, probably from eBay or Amazon because I'm an avid online shopper. Um, and I decided to tint the lace. And I'm not sure if you guys can see or if you notice any of my pictures, videos. Um, I never really tinted the lace before. Normally I would just use foundation because I was pretty lazy, especially when it comes to adhering my wigs. But um, I got tired of wasting foundation wasting time so i was like you know what let me just pick up the fabric dye and i love it i would recommend it to anybody i am gonna film um just tinting the lace itself um on a video at some point in time for my channel but like you can't even you couldn't if, if i didn't lift this up you wouldn't have been able to tell that it wasn't stuck down because it matches so well with my skin tone i love it but that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, so again, thank you guys for sticking with me through this tough time and understanding why I haven't uploaded any videos. Um, I do appreciate you, friends, family, YouTubers. Much appreciated. Thanks again. Bye for now.